We've been waiting to start this roof here, mostly because doing the roof on this side just absolutely kicked our butts. And to be completely honest, I think the biggest reason was we were all a little bit scared because this one is the high one, but now we're working on the low one. So this one's a little less intimidating. But we never know what the weather's gonna throw at us here, and the last thing that we want to do is be in the middle of putting in a roof and have a downpour come. So we're getting started right away. Something that's always guaranteed here from the hardware store is if you get a bag of nails or screws or pretty much anything that you're bound to find a couple Hershey's chocolates. <laughs> Hershey's nuggets, I guess I should say. <laughs> that's such a funny word for a chocolate, a nugget. <laughs> we are cruising right along on this side today. Now that we've done one, it's going so much quicker. The only thing that's the most time consuming is getting all the screws in. But honey, you're absolutely crushing it right now. I just want you to know. You know, when you turn that camera off, you're like, give me all this crap, and then when you what, turn it off. What, what crap was I giving you? Right before Kaylee turned the camera on, she was calling me a pendejo, which no, in Spanish I was means, it means a hole. I only say it because these guys are a bad influence and they're always calling you that jokingly. So I, I, I chime in for the fun, right? So I chime in for the fun. You guys are such bullies. <laughs> I, I'm a pendejo. <laughs> you guys want to come drink that coffee on the roof? Ooh. Oh my god, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Morning movement para ti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna interview you, all right? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I have some this, pressure. This is the microphone, okay? Hello, testing. <laughs> so we have a new member on our farm <laughs> for, for the next three weeks. <laughs> this is Kira. Hola. <laughs> These are some big questions. This is how everyone's gonna remember you. <laughs> Question number one. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. What did you just say? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Bye. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> Are you sure this is the right way? I feel like it should be this way. Honey, the microphone's upside down. <laughs> what do you want to be when you're when you grow up? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but Spider-Man came to mind. <laughs> do you want us to tell you when you have something in your teeth or do you want us just to not say anything? Oh, that's a hard one. Um I'd say Say something. Yeah. 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 So should I say something now? <gasps> no. <laughs> so in all serious, you guys, this is Kiara, right? Kiara, I'm saying it no, right. It's queso. Kiara, it's queso. Kiara. <laughs> it's queso. queso. Yeah. So when um, Rodrigo was introducing Kez to Eberto and Enrique, they thought that Rodrigo said her name was Queso. So that's going to be her <laughs> nickname around here for now. <laughs> She's not just any cheese, she's queso de dolce, which means sweet cheese. <laughs> Let's hear your best Australian accent, bro. Hey up, mate. <laughs> How was it, Kevin? No? One shot. One opportunity. Well, we finished this roof in record time, but there's one big problem. If you look at this piece of roof, it's actually a totally different color. It's like a different shade of silver than the other ones. And even though you're never going to see this, I just want it all to match. Mostly just for the drone shots, because when I go and edit these later, and I'm like, that stupid piece of roof. But at least we got the roof on. We have a dry space to work and we can keep going when this rain comes in and keep doing all the framing.
<laughs> Just give us one crikey, all right? Crikey? Crikey. Okay, wait. That's it. Woohoo! Crikey. <laughs> all right, baby girl. I have a very important question for you, okay? Do you want to pick out a book? <laughs> you want to read one of these books over here? Yeah. You want to pick one out? <laughs> Which one? You pick, you pick. Oh, you want this one? First 100 words? You see the pink flower? What do we do with the flowers? <laughs> it's hard staying focused on work when new people are on the farm. Part of what's so fun about living here and having new people kind of always coming through is just sharing it all with them. So, it's just been such a blast today. It's been such, such a special day, but I wanted to get some framing done. My goal by the end of this video is to get this whole thing framed up as much as I possibly can. I think I could probably get it all done, but I know by tomorrow things are going to start changing. I just put in one car reel. I just put in one beam and it took me like two or three hours. I've been working on this thing for a while and it's just crazy how much slower welding is but that's just part of it that's just part of building here i've honestly really enjoyed it today mostly because it's pouring right now it's downpouring it's been raining and i'm bone dry which is just such a big deal having this roof on right now and being able to work no matter what is just it's it's amazing and it's just like tomorrow I don't need to worry about oh I wonder what time it's gonna start raining because that's gonna interrupt our work and we have to get up earlier. No, we can go from 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. every single day. Doesn't matter if it's rainy or sunny and we can just keep chugging away on this thing. One of the reasons why I wanna make as much progress as possible right now, I feel like I'm letting you guys in on a big secret, but Kaylee and I are only gonna be in Panama for another seven days and then we're leaving for a while. Hey, look, it's Artie! For almost a year and a half now, we've been working on opening the roastery, which is our coffee roastery and our cafe that we're opening up in Stowe, Vermont. So every week we've been having conference calls with our team, working on building this thing out, working on getting all the licensing, all the permitting, doing all the construction, the plumbing, the electrical, buying espresso machines and countertops and everything that goes into opening a brick and mortar space. And we've come to the point that we're basically ready to open this darn thing. We're planning to open it in October. So we're planning on going back to the States in just one week. So not that much time. It's been amazing. And we're super excited for this last week, but we're also super excited to go back to the States. What up? So one thing that we absolutely love to do when we have new people up here on Lola's farm is to get our outdoor wood oven going and to whip up some super, super yummy food. So tonight it's actually gonna be so, so, so easy and seamless because we actually have a Green Chef sponsoring today's video and that is what we're having for dinner tonight. So if you guys don't know what Green Chef is, they're a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that sends you step-by-step -step recipes with pre-measured ingredients directly to your doorstep. Another cool thing about Green Chef is that if you have people in your household that eat totally differently, one of you guys is keto, one of you guys is vegan, you can actually mix up the meals and get them delivered to your doorstep in the same box. They even have options for every single lifestyle, such as keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. So if you guys are interested in simplifying your lives a little bit, saving a little bit of time, you can actually click the link in our description box below. Use the code NOMADIC135. You'll get $135 off across five boxes, plus free shipping on your first box. So thank you so much, Green Chef, for sponsoring today's video. All right, I realized I was being super stupid with this roof yesterday. When we built the workshop, we really cut a lot of corners on a lot of different things. And now every single day, I need to look at all of those corners that we cut. And it kind of just, that's one of those things that just like bothers you every once in a while. So when we decided to build this bathroom, I said to myself, we're not gonna cut any corners. Doesn't matter if it takes a little bit more time. Doesn't matter if it costs a little bit more money. But I think with this roofing, the difference between this and this it's just so minimal. 
and no one's even gonna see it. I can't even see it on the drone when I'm flying above it. So it's just like, what's the point in really spending more money and buying a new piece of roof? I just don't think that this one's really worth it. And I'm gonna just finish installing this and screwing this in. All right, that's it, done. Now we just need to trim all these excess pieces off. Beautiful. Jordan and I have been tag teaming it today. So he's been cutting and placing the beams here and I have been welding them in and it's going so much quicker. I feel like genuinely, honey, I feel like when we're like in a flow, in a workflow together, I love it. I love working with you. I love you, honey. <laughs> this whole side is now done with framing. We're moving on to the next side. So on Lola's farm, we have two requirements. The first thing is you gotta be able to chop a coconut, which that one you pass in with fine colors. Mm -hmm. Second is you got to not necessarily weld good, but you just have to love to weld. <laughs> or you have to just like look good doing it. It has, to, it has to look like you're welding. It has to look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm nervous. No, girl, you're gonna I crush it. it to <laughs> Whoa, what the f <laughs> Do it with some like. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, baby! There you go! Yes. Yes. You got it the first day? There you go! <laughs> That's good for your first time. You did something. Yeah, I did something. This is better than we usually do. <laughs> <laughs> we still make holes to this day, so. <laughs> what is going on right now? I mean, Rodrigo's a pretty touchy feely, lovey kind of guy, but like. It's been pretty extraordinary the last week and a half. That's what happens when you get a new girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, so they call this the honeymoon sit phase. <laughs> He's just so extra lovey to everyone here on the farm, which hey, I'll take it. What happened to the microphone? You broke the microphone? Um, no, we just upgraded. We upgraded the, the microphone. That wasn't a good joke at all. It just wasn't funny. Rodrigo laughed. Yeah, Rodrigo's laughing at anything. <laughs> I will laugh at anything, man. So, first question. How you doing? Really good. <laughs> Second question. <laughs> Are you in love? Maybe 99.9%. <laughs> it's now been a couple of days since Kez has come here. Rodrigo's new. What is she? What, what do we call her, bro? What's your friend? Queso. She's your, she's your queso? She's, no, she's my bro. She's your bro? She's my bro. Rodrigo's new bro. And we all love her. We're all trying to get her to stay. <laughs> Before we finish up this one, I just gotta say thank you to so many of you guys. In our last video, we talked about our girl Alma Sof and her nose. And a lot of you guys sent us so much advice. We got hundreds of emails. So much advice. And a lot of you guys were saying it was something probably bacteria related or fungus related. So we actually were able to find a cream here that's both antimicrobial. Microbial? Mo microbial? Microbial? And antifungal. And I'm very happy that after three days, you can see the top of her nose is pink, but like all the funkiness that was going on with it, this, all the stuff that our vet thought was cancer and prescribed her end of life cancer medication, all that stuff is gone. So she's on the road to recovery. She's on a 10 day regimen of this cream, so we're gonna keep monitoring it. I think next is try, try to get it under her eyes, because whatever it is spread underneath her eyes too. So it's good to see this girl on the road to recovery, but 
That's all we got for you guys on this one. Thank you so much for following along. We love you guys so much. See you next time.